The debate between capitalism and communism is one of the most fundamental and controversial topics in the history of economics and politics. These two economic systems represent completely different approaches to property, wealth distribution, and social organization. Understanding the differences between capitalism and communism is essential to analyze and evaluate the pros and cons of each system. In this video, we will explore the distinct characteristics of these economic systems and discuss the debates and challenges surrounding this dichotomy. Fundamental Concepts Capitalism An economic system based on private ownership of the means of production and the pursuit of individual profit. Free market and competition are key elements of this system. Communism An economic system based on collective ownership of the means of production and the absence of social classes. The goal is to achieve social and economic equality by eliminating exploitation and inequality. Property and Wealth Distribution Capitalism The means of production are privately owned, and wealth distribution is based on market supply and demand. Profit serves as an incentive for economic growth. Communism The means of production are collectively or state-owned and wealth is distributed equally among members of society. The goal is to eliminate inequality and ensure the well-being of all. Economic Freedom and State Control Capitalism Emphasizes economic freedom, where individuals have autonomy to make business decisions and investments. The state acts as a regulator and protector of property rights. Communism the state plays a central role in the economy, controlling the means of production and directing resources according to central planning. Individual freedom is limited for the common good. Economic Efficiency and Incentives Capitalism Competition among firms and the pursuit of profit incentivize economic efficiency and innovation. Financial incentives drive growth and productivity. Communism Central planning may limit economic efficiency as resource allocation is determined by the state. Financial incentives are replaced by collective and social motivations. Incentives and Motivations Capitalism The capitalist system encourages individual initiative and the pursuit of personal profit as motivations for work and entrepreneurship. Competition in the market drives innovation and economic growth. Communism Communism seeks to eliminate exploitation and promote social equality, but it does not always provide the same individual incentives as capitalism. Motivation in communism is often related to collective well-being and fulfilling the basic needs of all members of society. Inequality and Income Distribution Capitalism while capitalism promotes economic freedom, it can also lead to significant income and wealth inequalities. Some argue that this inequality may be a natural consequence of the system, while others advocate for redistributive policies to reduce disparities. Communism Communism seeks to eliminate social inequality and ensure equitable distribution of resources. However, practical implementation has not always achieved these goals, and many communist countries have faced challenges in efficiently distributing goods and services. Individual Freedoms and Human Rights Capitalism It is generally associated with the protection of individual rights, such as freedom of speech, press, and association. Advocates of capitalism argue that economic freedom is intrinsically tied to individual freedom. Communism Historically, Communist regimes have been accused of restricting individual freedoms in the name of the common good. Censorship, lack of freedom of speech, and press restrictions are some frequent criticisms. Geopolitical Context Capitalism The capitalist system is widely adopted by many Western countries and is considered a pillar of the global economy. 
International trade and economic interdependence are important aspects of capitalism. Communism Although communism has had less global influence in recent decades, there are still countries that adopt communist or socialist principles, which may have geopolitical implications. Historical Examples Capitalism The United States, the United Kingdom, Japan, and many Western countries adopt capitalist systems with varying degrees of state intervention. Communism The Soviet Union, China, Cuba, and other countries have adopted communist or socialist systems, although many have undergone significant economic changes. The debate between capitalism and communism remains a relevant issue today. Both systems have their advantages and disadvantages, and their practical application can vary depending on the context and policies adopted. It is important to understand the fundamental differences between these economic systems to evaluate their social, political, and economic impacts. The search for a system that balances economic efficiency and social justice continues to be a global challenge.